Ok, now it's time to start working in Google Looker Studio. In Google search, when you type Looker Studio and go to that link, you will be able to see this page here. Now let's see what this page contains. On the left side, you can see that we have some create option. If we click on this option, we will be able to create our dashboard. Also, we have some options below. For the recent one, as you can see, if we click on that, we will be able to see our recent used dashboards. So you can see my list here. Also, you have option to see shared dashboards, owned by me, some deleted dashboards, and also you have some templates. For example, you could use some of them, import your data, and then just present them to whoever you need to. Okay, let's go back to recent. As you can see, above those templates, we have three options here. We have option for reports, which we already see. Also, we can see data sources. Currently, we don't have any. And also Explorer option. But for us, it's important these reports. So now I would like to connect my Google Looker Studio with Google Sheets. I can click on this Create button here, or I can click on this blank report button here. It's all the same. So let's click, for example, on this one. And I have option to create new report, data source, or explorer. I'm gonna start with report. If I click on that, now I am able to see different data sources here. For example, some of the interesting ones are Google Analytics, also Google Sheets that we will be using. We could also upload, for example, CSV file from Google BigQuery. We will also be using this one, Amazon Redshift, and so on. This time, as I said, we will be using Google Sheets, so we can click on that button. Now we have new window opened. As you can see, I have some spreadsheets here. This time I will be using this sales spreadsheet. Let me show you which one. This is sales spreadsheet that I imported from CSV file. In one of the previous lectures I was showing you how you can import CSV file in Google Sheets. So now we are going to connect these Google Sheets to Google Looker Studio. So let's click on this sales spreadsheet and also we will need to provide sheet name. As you can see we have only one sheet. Let me show you. We have only one data sheet and we will provide that sheet here. Also, there is more options. We could use first row as header. Let's check. As you can see, our first row is actually header, so we will check this option. Also, we will include hidden and filter cells. In this case, we don't have any, but let's just keep it just in case. So let's click on add. Now we need to wait to import the data in Google Ocker Studio. And as you can see, we have another window and I'm gonna just confirm add to report. After that, our data will be successfully imported in Google Ocker Studio. So what can we see here? We can see some table that Google Ocker Studio created for us. In this case, if we go to the right side, we are able to see some fields here. Basically, those are columns from Google Sheets. So, we have this channel option and as you can see it's presented here. Regarding this record count, if we check, we also have that option here. But we will talk about this later. Now what's important to see is that we have some data source called sales slash data and that data source contains some fields. What is also important to say is that we can change the data source if we click on that. We are able to see list of our columns. For example, if you would like to change name of this column, we can click just and put something else. Let's say channel 2, for example, but we are not gonna do that, we just for demonstration. Also, besides that, we have this type column here, and we are able to see data type for each of these columns. For example, if you would like to change some of them, Instead of text for this channel, for example, we can click on this option here and we can choose some other type. In this case it's text so we will keep it as it is. Also for some other columns, as you can see, this price column is number, quantity also number, so basically Google Studio recognized it properly. Also, we have default aggregation and we are able to see for text values we don't have any and for numeric columns we have some option for each of them. We will not dig deeper into this, it's just important for you to know that you can change field names and data types for your data source. 
Also, what is important to mention is that we have this option here, data freshness. It says here 15 minutes. If we click on that, we will have option to choose one hour, every four hours or 12 hours. This is basically the option to schedule your data refreshing in your Google Locker Studio, but we will leave this as it is. So let's click on this option and that is perfect. Now let's click on done. And we covered successfully that part. There is one thing left to show you. Let me go to this resource option. Let's click on manage added data sources. And if I click on that, I will be able to see my data source here. Basically, what can we see here? We can see connector type, it's Google Sheets. We can see that we are using our data source for one chart. Basically, that's table that Google Worker Studio already created for us. Status is working. And we can do some actions on that. We can duplicate our data source, remove or edit something if you would like to. But in this case, we will leave it as it is. And also important to mention is that you can add another data source if you would like to. You can click on add a data source. And let's try to import now our table from Google BigQuery. If you click on this, we will be able to see our projects. As you can see, this is our project that we already created. Let's choose the data set table and let's click on add let's click add to report and now let's see what happened currently we don't see anything changed but let's go to resources manage added data sources and now we are able to see that we have another data source here which we are not using for any charts and connector type is BigQuery. Let's close this. We will go to this data option here. And I'm going to choose this employee info. These are columns that we can use. And this is our data source. If I close this, I will be also able to see its sales data. We could use these columns also. And now we are able to manage both of these data sources. 